Hey guys, what's up? My name is Aaron Fleming. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to another Film Photography Friday. I hope you're all having a great week so far. In this video, I'm going to talk about probably one of the most sought after film point and shoots and probably film cameras for that matter. I am, of course, talking about the infamous Contax T2. The Contax T2 was produced in the early 90s by Kyocera in Japan, who also made Yashica. It featured a beautiful 38mm f2.8 T Star Carl Zeiss Sonar lens. Anyone who knows about Carl Zeiss knows just how sharp these lenses are. This is my Contax T2 that I bought a while ago. Um, it has the 38mm f2.8 lens. I love this camera. <laughs> I think the simplest way to put it is I have such a dear love for this camera. Yeah, it's it's just so beautiful. And I don't think I could ever sell it. I picked this up a while ago. I was looking for a Contax T2 and I had no real luck finding like a really nice one. Basically in Ireland and most of Europe, the Contax T2 is very expensive. A few years ago, these cameras were a lot cheaper than they are now. And the likes of Kendall Jenner showing off her camera at the Jimmy Kimmel show um, a few years ago definitely set the trend of this camera to go way up. I understand that it's probably not the best bang for your buck but I bought this camera both to shoot a lot with but also as a collector's item so I basically I just wanted to have one as a collector's item because these aren't dropping in value anytime soon they're only going up in value. Yes they're pricey but digital cameras are also pricey and the digital cameras at the moment if i were to buy a digital camera that's only going to lose in value i may as well just get a film camera at least i know that it's going to hold its value and most likely even go up in value i got the original box that has the original serial number on the box imprinted on the box the camera also has the original serial number imprinted on the bottom of the camera um, and these were a very limited edition i can't remember exactly i heard before that it was either 200 of them in the world or 200 of them per market. It also came with this lovely, lovely wooden box that says 60 years on the front of it as well. And it also comes with the strap, the um, neck strap, which has never been unpacked. And then the camera goes right in here. So take my camera, put it in there and it's in there beautifully. And there's even the original cleaning cloth which says contacts 60 years so let's get to talking about the camera i absolutely love shooting with this uh, i don't bring it around as much as i do my olympus xa just because i'm kind of i kind of baby this a bit more than my olympus xa i really do love this thing uh, it is such a special little camera so as i said at the start it has a 38 millimeter f2.8 carl's eye sonar t-star lens um, this lens is gorgeous and you're gonna see some of the results soon and on the lens it has the aperture control and the flash controls 2.8 is in green which means it's in program mode inside the viewfinder is nice and big and bright to turn the camera on you change it to AF and then from there you can point it further and then you're at infinity and then you can actually set the focusing distance and the way that you know that you're actually in focus then is when you guess the focus but you can also look through and there's two little arrows that show you what way you need to turn the dial to be in focus so it actually tells you as well which is also great for street photography because you can just set it at infinity or set it at whatever distance you're ready to go for whenever someone walks into your frame the build quality of this is beautiful in comparison to a lot of other film cameras that i have especially point and shoots it's beautiful so rather than it being the plastic like this yashica mini tech the contax t2 and any of the more luxury point and shoots they were made using titanium as well as that there's not really too much else so I'm going to show you the pictures. These images were scanned on the Epson V550. The link to this is down in the description. If you do buy something using that link, I earn a tiny bit of commission and it just helps me support this channel and keep this channel going. I shot the Contax T2 with Kodak Color Plus 200 literally because I put that film into any camera that I get just because it's nice and cheap. I don't feel bad if the camera messes up um, and I know what to expect from it. So if something's off, I kind of understand understand what's off and why it's off and plus it's it's a beautiful film it's so cheap and so nice probably one of my favorite consumer grade films just because the colors are so lovely on it um, and you're going to see this for yourself now mixed with the 
Carl's Ice lens this is just beautiful. I just cannot wait to shoot portrait with this as well. I bought this a few weeks ago um, on eBay. I was kind of the same as everyone else who gets really into film photography, where I really wanted a Contax T2 and heard so much about them, but they were so, so damn expensive. So I ended up luckily finding not just a Contax T2 for a pretty good price, but also a Contax T2 with which is the 60th anniversary gold edition, which is pretty damn cool. So yeah, let's load some film into it and check it out. That's great, it's broken. Look at that guy. I'm not sure if you're going to get out of this. Yeah. some of the shots I took with the Contax T2. Um, I think most of them were taken in Germany or on the way back from Germany. Scanning the images in, I just realized just how sharp and beautiful this lens is, especially that picture of the lighthouse um, in Wernemünde in the northeast of Germany. I just shot that in program mode, so I don't even know what aperture that uh, picture was shot at. The one thing I will note about the camera and about the lens that you will need to look out for if you do scan yourself is there is a bit of vignetting. Um, you will see this in the images. I didn't correct for vignetting because I didn't want to kind of unfairly depict it and say there's no vignetting. You can of course fix this in Lightroom really really easily but there is a stronger vignette to this lens than there is in the Olympus XA, which I was kind of a bit surprised about, but at the same time, I'm not gonna complain. The pictures and the images still look so beautiful and so sharp. Would I recommend for you to buy a Contax T2? It's a difficult one. Um, if you're really into collecting film cameras and wanting to have something that's gonna be worth something in a few years time and that not everybody has, then yes, or I wanted something special that I couldn't just get at a flea market. Whereas a lot of the kind of run and mill cameras that I have, I can get them at flea markets and stuff and I can get them easily on eBay. For those who just want to go out and shoot your first rolls of film, do you need a Contax C2? Definitely not. There are so many other cameras that I would recommend that you look at before you look at or even think about getting one of these. I would recommend something like the Olympus XA, which I talked about in another video, which is gonna be in next week's Film Photography Friday. So I'd recommend any point and shoot with a 35 or a 32 millimeter lens that is f3.5 or under. If you've been following my Instagram for a while, you'll realize that a lot of my older film photography pictures um, over the last few months have been shot with the Canon AF35M. It's a beautiful little camera, it's very plastic, very 80s, and it just it just works. Uh, I throw it in my pocket, I'm not really worried about it breaking because I know I can get a replacement so, so easily for it. But for anyone starting out, I would definitely recommend just check eBay, buy something with a fixed lens, 35 millimeter, f3.5 or below, and just go for that. If you have any questions about cameras you're thinking of buying or cameras that, you have seen or would like me to review then please let me know i'm gonna have so many exciting film videos up this summer um i have so many cameras i can't even show all of them to you and i have another 10